Stefan Romar, MMA Nit, the hardest working journalist in Sweden. I'm here in Suvanabumi Airport in Thailand with the reigning defending one championship welterweight champion Sebastian the Bandit Kadestam and the legend Omar Buish. So first of all, how does it feel to, uh, to rewrite Swedish history and become the first Swedish fighter to hold a title in a major organization? And it feels, I'm glad to be here and it feels, it feels a little bit unreal. But it feels great. We've been working hard and uh, I gotta thank this man over here just to be doing this interview because I wouldn't be here without him and uh, I'm grateful. So, feels good. Uh, first, of all, tell us a little bit about the fights and then I'm gonna ask the same question to Omar. And the fight was almost five rounds. Uh, tough fight. We had to adjust during the fight. Um, he was a tough, tough guy. Um, caught him a couple of times, but I didn't get to put him away. And he caught, he got me down a few times. It was tough, but I felt good, and my takedown defense was. I showed my improvements. We've been working really hard, and um, yeah, everything kind of went as planned. But it, it was a tough fight. So Omar, uh, you, you talked about the adjustments that you had to make, could you tell us what those were? Uh, we had to do a lot of adjustments actually, because this guy was really smart. He circled a lot and he, his power double was really hard, so we have to change Kadistan's uh, level a little bit and work with his jab and stuff, stuff like that. So we had to change our game plan I think, three times during the fight or something like that. So it was a hard fight, really hard fight. This guy was good, really good. So, um, how's the champ life? The first day, uh, a lot of uh, love from all over the world. How does it feel? Man, it, it, it feels good. Um, we're just realizing uh, how big this is. Um, this is the only thing. It, it's heavy, you know. Uh, but I don't feel any different. But we're going to go back to the gym this week. And... Uh, we already been talking about what, what we need to uh, start working on. So I'm just happy. It feels like uh, we're in a new chapter in my life and, and I, everything feels good. And I, I feel like I'm in the perfect, perfect place right now to to years. So you ended the fight with 30 seconds left. You hit him with a left hook and right as hook, right, right. right hook, sorry. And so you hit him with a right hook and then you followed up with the knee. Uh, the ref, it looked like the ref was going to stop it uh, at, after you hit him with the right hook, uh, but you still followed up with the knee. Was, was he hesitating or were you just like uh, in the in kill mode? Man, I, I don't look at the ref and. Uh, I just saw he fell down a little bit awkward, so I knew he was an out-out, and I could see right away he was on his way up, and I wanted to finish. Like I knew I was gonna win on the scorecards, but you never know. But I, I felt like we've been talking every round, and I'm like, I'm ahead, I'm ahead. I know I said that in the middle of one round. I'm like, I'm winning everything, right? And Omar is like, Yeah, you're winning everything. Yes. Keep calm, don't do anything stupid. But, but you know, I saw him coming up and uh, I think why not do a knee when you're allowed to do a knee? Love it. Um, talk a little bit about knees to the head on the ground. Uh, you like that concept in MMA? Actually I do. I, I, I compete in Japan, the same rules. I really like it actually. I don't like the stomps, but uh, the knees, I really like them. It's the same if you hit an elbow and knees, the same damage. So. So, um, what do we think about, this is a new idea I just got, uh, what about opening up the 165 division and first fight after Eddie Alvarez wins the lightweight tournament, Eddie the underground king Alvarez against the Swedish king, the bandit, Sebastian Kardestam, how does that sound? The bandit king sounds good. <laughs> bandit king. That's the new nickname. Uh, man, I'm down for whatever, but we, we have to... See, see what's happened, and 
I don't know. I don't have a problem going down if they make one uh, weight class in between lightweight and uh, welterweight. I don't have any problem. Like I made weight so easy this time, and the, the, like I don't even cut for this. So I just do a diet and I'm down. So uh, I can move down a little bit, maybe not too much, but uh, and uh, we want to keep fighting good guys we don't want and not too easy because the, the good guys bring out the best of me so we want to keep on this track so let's end on this note you're the head coach at uh, at pancreas gym in stockholm uh, let's give some shout outs to the people that maybe that are working behind the scenes who who has helped uh, Sebastian get all the way to this title all the guys at the club I mean Sadi Bossi, Abbe, Nico Musuka, Diego Gonzalez and we have a lot of other people who helped so we're really gra grateful for that they're good all of those guys are gonna be we're gonna see Sadi Bossi next year he's gonna do some real damage all right there you have it the new Welterweight champion of the world, Sebastian, the bandit king, Kadestam, the legend, Omar Buish, the hardest working journalist in Sweden. Guys, thank you very much for the interview. Congratulations on the fight. Peace.